Columbus, Ohio, J.T. Barrett threw for three touchdowns and ran for another in the first half, and number 10 Ohio State had its most dominant defensive effort in nearly 60 years, rooting Maryland 6,214 on Saturday. The Stingy Buckeyes held Maryland 32, 11 Big Ten to 66 total yards, their fewest yards allowed since yielding 60 against Indiana in 1960. I thought the line of scrimmage was dominated, Ohio State coach Urban Meyer said. Barrett, a fifth-year senior and holder of most of the school's passing records, was 20 for 31 for 261 yards before taking a seat near end of the third quarter. Barrett threw scoring passes to Bin Hemen Victor, Austin Mack and Terry Malloran. Ohio State 51, 30 Big Ten overwhelmed quarterback Max Bortenschlager, holding the Terrapins to 16 passing yards and only six first downs. Bortenschlager, who was promoted to a starting role after injuries to the Terrapins' top two QBs, was only three of 12 passing. He didnt complete a pass until the second quarter and was sacked four times before being shaken up and leaving the game in the third. Bortenschlager was hit in the head by cornerback Damon Arnett while sliding on a scramble, resulting in Arnett being kicked out for targeting. Caleb Henderson played the rest of the way, and Maryland managed a meaningless touchdown against Ohio State's backups with 411 left in the game. They outplayed us and outcoached us, and that's the result, Maryland coach DJ Durkin said. One of the few highlights for Maryland was a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown by Ty Johnson, the first time in nearly two years the Terps have returned a kickoff for a score. Minneapolis Ty Johnson rushed for 130 yards and a 34-yard touchdown run with 110 to play to lift Maryland to a 3,124 victory over Minnesota on Saturday. Max Bortenschlager completed 18 of 28 passes for 154 yards and two touchdowns and ran for another score for the Terrapins 31. Lorenzo Harrison 3 added 75 yards rushing and Maryland racked up 262 yards on the ground against a Minnesota defense that was ranked number one in the country against the run. Connor Roda was 13 for 26 for 229 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions for previously unbeaten Minnesota 31. Taylor Johnson had three catches for 69 yards, but the Golden Gophers rushed for just 80 yards. DJ Moore caught eight passes for 90 yards and a touchdown for Maryland. The Terrapins have already lost two starting quarterbacks Tyrell Pigroom and Cassim Hill to season-ending knee injuries this year. Bortenschlager looked overwhelmed at times last week when he was thrust into surprise duty following Hill's injury. Given a week to practice as the starter, he looked much more comfortable. He squeezed a throw in between two Gophers defenders on fourth hand 11 from the Gophers 31 in the first quarter. DJ Turner made a leaping catch for a 22-yard gain, setting up Bortenschlager's seven-yard draw for a touchdown to get Maryland on the board. He came up big again in the fourth quarter on third and goal from the four, rolling to his right and hitting a wide-open Jake Funk in the flat for a 2,417 lead. It was the first time an opponent has scored against Minnesota's defense in the second half this season. The Gophers tied the game midway through the fourth quarter when Shannon Brooks scored with four minutes to play, but Bortenschlager gave Maryland its ninth third-down conversion of the game at the Minnesota 39 and Ty Johnson burst through the line and went untouched for the touchdown to seal the victory. College Park, M.D. Taj McGowan scored two touchdowns, quarterback Mackenzie Milton ran for 94 yards and Central Florida capitalized on an early injury to Maryland quarterback Cassim Hill in a 3,810 upset Saturday. Coming off a three-week layoff because of Hurricane Irma, the Knights' 20 used a 21-point run over the second and third quarters to take control against a team trying to adjust to its third different quarterback in three games. Maryland 21 lost starter Tyrrell Pigroom in its season-opening win over Texas before turning to Hill, a true freshman with seemingly enough poise and talent to sufficiently fill the void. Hill finished off the Longhorns and helped beat Towson 6,317 before leaving this game in the first quarter with an apparent leg injury. He was replaced by sophomore Max Bortenschlager, who went 15 for 26 for 132 yards and two interceptions, one of which was returned for a 57-yard touchdown by Mike Hughes with 511 left. Bortenschlager was also sacked five times. Hill was scrambling on a third down play when hit by Jamiush Pittman and Chequan Burkett. The quarterback remained on the ground for several minutes before being helped off the field.
Maryland did not give an immediate report on his condition. The Terrapins kicked a field goal on the next play but went nearly 32 minutes before scoring again late in the third quarter. By that time, UCF was well on its way to victory and the majority of fans had already made their way to the exits. It was the second victory for the Knights against a Big Ten school. The previous win against nine defeats came at Penn State in 2013. McGowan finished with 33 yards on 12 carries, including touchdown runs of one and three yards. The junior saw extensive action after starter Jawan Hamilton was injured on the night's opening possession. It was 143 in the third quarter when Miller ran 55 yards to the Maryland 20. Not long after that, the sophomore tossed a six-yard touchdown pass to Jordan Atkins. Milton went 18 for 30 for 178 yards. Maryland's DJ Moore caught a 20-yard touchdown throw from Borten Schlager to make it 2,110, but the Terps simply DIDNT have the firepower to complete the comeback.